I look away from the train break. You can blame it on the tag or the disrespect. If you play better, button check. Button check. What is up, Butt Check family? Welcome back to it again. A beautiful morning. It is Sunday. The weekend is here, and it is almost over, but hey, it's still Sunday. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Chapters down below if you guys want to skip around, and of course, that sub button right there. Thank you guys for all the amazing love and helping the channel grow. We got so much action still happening this weekend, so without further ado, let's go. All right, next up for these MK1, right? Pro competition dates changing buttons that need to be checked. So for those that don't know, uh, there was pro competitions coming up. Uh, but I guess there's like bugs. There's certain things going on, right, where the community was asking for the dates to be changed, right? Well, they actually made this uh, announcement the other day, um, changed them officially, right? Saying Mortal Kombat 1 uh, Pro Competition update. The following Mortal Kombat 1 Pro Competition events will be moving the new dates listed below. No further action is required for players who have already registered. Down below, you can see May 4th and the 5th. NAL Regional Qualifier number three and May 12th NAL Regional Finals, right? FGC is reacting. A lot of people on the same page, right? Saying this is a good idea, thank you. I actually remember Sonic Fox posting the day before this, right? Saying, begging they reschedule the pro comp this weekend. Online bug is not resolved, right? Others were responding to that saying, well, we don't think it's gonna be possible, I guess, because of the rules or what they posted in the chat was the tournament will have to proceed. Sonic responds saying, I just asked not too long ago in the admin comes and they're not sure if they're moving it yet or not we'll know tonight or tomorrow and obviously they did it because the next day april 5th they made that post saying they're changing the date so in a nutshell i guess it was best for the community right especially if there's stuff still going on with the game i mean it's mk1 there's a lot <laughs> going on with the game but for now as far as the pro competition they're changing the dates but on the next set of news right for mk1 looks like ermac is coming back to town FTC's getting excited. They posted this trailer, I think just yesterday. Yeah, just yesterday. Let's check it out. Outworld souls cannot live in an Earth Realm blade. They seem to be doing just fine. Mm, in an Earth Realm blade. There you go, man. It's like I said, short and sweet, right? FGC is reacting. True underdogs, like I called it. Um, I say Aziz posting footage as well. Um, older clips, obviously, but a lot of people are, are happy, right? Some are saying uh, make the outfits DLC packs instead of uh, charging people for dragon crystals. Okay, that's another subject, but fingers crossed for the sauce. Can't wait. And it goes on, right? A lot of hype. Um, and I think obviously MK1 needs it, right? But one comment, one comment out of all these, I think stands out the most, right? Right here at uh, 3D Gooning says, at hot, disgusting, filthy sex into the game. Add hot, disgusting, filthy sex into the game. Yeah, why not? All right, now into them. Harada confirming that Tekken, as we know it, will eventually become team-based. They will focus on teams, right? Because the FGC, apparently, the younger players, love to blame their losses on other people rather than themselves. Buttons that need to be checked. I think that was the longest title we ever had on this show. Anyway, this is very interesting, right? Because there was an article written the other day. I'll put their information on the screen and link down below. Definitely check it out so you can read the whole thing. I thought it was very cool, right? Because they interviewed him and the headline reads, Tekken producer says younger players prefer team-based games uh, to one-on-one -on -one fighting games because they can ship the blame when they lose. So right here, you can start to see where they unpack it, right? Where it says they interviewed uh, Tekken series producer Harada, recently appeared on the Academy of Interactive Arts and Sciences, Game Maker's uh, Notebook podcast. When the conversation shifted towards Tekken series, its popularity and how the fighting game genre can evolve for younger players in the future, Harada believes that for the game genre to continue to evolve, it will have to integrate more team-based components as it's his contention that younger players prefer team-based games to one-on-one -on -one fighting games because they can shift and blame others when they lose. Then he was quoted right here saying, it seems to me that the way fighting games are played has evolved over time with generations, Harada told PlayStation. Harada went on to explain the innate competitive nature of his generation towards gaming and life in general compared to today's youth. In Japan and probably in most of the world, my generation is a big one. It makes up a good chunk of the population that made our society a competitive one. If you applied to a school or a job, there was always a lot of competition. Because of this, people 
people in my generation prefer definitive outcomes, a clear winner and loser. This applies to folks in and around their 50s. But most young people nowadays are opposite. They're rarely eager to engage in one-on-one -on -one showdowns. Plus, because fighting games pit you by yourself against a single opponent, you have to accept all the responsibilities. If you lose, you can't blame anybody else. In team-based shooters, when players win, they can say they won because of their own contributions, but when they lose, it's because they got matched with the lousy team. Harada believes that some of these multiplayer elements that which make team-based games, such as League of Legends, Dota, Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto, so popular, have to be integrated into a fighting game genre for it further to grow and appeal to the younger generations of gamers. I'm not saying we should suddenly turn fighting games into a puzzle game or a real life strategy game, Harada continued. I still think there should be a demand for games like this, this sort of hand-to-hand -hand fighting. But maybe we could include other ways of competing outside of the main game, for example, maybe they don't always have to fight one-on-one. -on -one. They could opt for team battles such as three-on-three -three matches. I think we may want to incorporate this into our online mode's official rankings. Maybe team matches could have positions within a team, something like order of teammates in judo matches. Right now in Tekken's online mode, each player fights alone, battle after battle, trying to climb the rankings. Maybe with more varied modes, based on things like teams and regions, it could add more metagaming as well. Then they wrap it up right here saying, do you agree with Tekken series producer that younger players prefer team-based games to one-on-one -on -one fighting games because they can shift the blame when they lose? Which generation of gaming are you from? Let us know in the comments. And there you go. Big up to the writer of that was somebody by the name of RJ. Big up to RJ. That was a great article. Wow. I didn't know that. Now we know like Stuff like, what is it, a Project L? Well, I'm always gonna call it, Pro I'm not gonna call it the new name. I'm gonna call it Project L, right? So Project L, they're gonna come out with something like that. I think 2v2 or 3v3, which is gonna be interesting to see. Um, at one time we had Street Fighter Cross Tekken, which I think that came out way too early. A lot of people got, I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. I like the game. Am I alone in this shit? I liked it. But then again, I was a casual at the time. I played it online with my son. We had a lot of fun, you know what I'm saying? Um, but it caught a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? But is Bandai ready to make Tekken that again, but in a different way, kind of like Project L, a 3v3. Is the FGC period ready for team games? Because we've been pushing this shit off. It's been like one of those things that's been on them FGC streets for a while that people kind of shit on, right? It's almost like people believe that at the end of the day, there should be one winner, one loser. We want to know who the best of the best is. And the community's kind of been built on that theory, right? That no, there should just be one winner, right? Kind of like in boxing and whatnot. But Harada does make a point where he's saying the way of the future, if we look at all these bigger games, the way they do it is the team games, right? Which makes sense. I just don't know if it works for fighting games. That's the question with the 3v3. I would like to believe there could be something like that, maybe different options. How y'all feeling? How y'all feel? How far away do you think that is for the FGC for it to actually work? You know what I'm saying? And the other thing I want to say, and I'll wrap it up with this. I think it's kind of funny because they basically say that the reason why it works, let me know if you think I'm off, but because it works for the newer generation is because they're soft. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Didn't he say that in other words? He's like, cause my generation, we had to deal with this and we had to deal with that and we're very competitive. But the new generation, they're like a little win. They like to shift the blame and stuff. They're, they're not really into all that really competitive shit. So it does to me kind of come off in a nice way of being like, they're not built like us. You know what I'm saying? They're built more shift the blame, everybody kind of gets a trophy kind of shit. So this is the way. And I know at the end of the day, we're talking business, you know what I'm saying? So business got to do what they got to do. If those were the numbers are, they got to do it. They would be dumb not to, you know what I'm saying? But do you think I'm far off? And like I said, how far off do you think it is before this actually works for the FGC? How y'all feeling? Let me know. That it is, ladies and gents. Definitely let me know how you guys are feeling. Thank you guys for the amazing love. Like I said, today is Sunday. We got a whole week ahead of us of buttons that need to be checked. Hope you guys are enjoying it, man. I had a really good birthday weekend. I want to thank all of you on the last video for the amazing birthday wishes. 
Um, it's a lot, man. It, it means a lot to me. And on that note, I want to give a quick shout out to those that uh, actually gave me a little birthday gift um, and they did super thanks, right? So right here from uh, Mega Crash GR says, happy birthday, Ernesto, with the 10 bucks. Yo, I appreciate the massive love. And right here at Jimbo say, happy birthday, bro, with the five bones. Yo, I appreciate it. And this one right here I had to share with you guys because it's also a super thanks. I think it comes out to about five bucks, right? But the message totally inspired me, right? It blessed me. So let me read it real quick. Right here from Santex D17, right? Saying, happy birthday, Nesto. I love your content and what you do for the community, but also how you inspire people in ways you might not even think of. For example, taking the brave decision to do this full time, doing an episode in the freaking hospital and now even getting sponsored. Lately, it wasn't going well for me, but I always remember to myself that Nesto doesn't know how it is, but he knows it's about to get better and things did get better and better now. So thank you for the little encouragement in every episode episode i'll be here when you reach a hundred k brother peace How, i'm about to cry you know what i'm saying thank you so much look santex that blessed me and what that that's amazing Did, reading this is like what you need to kind of recharge your batteries when you're feeling down because content work it's a lot you know what i'm saying and sometimes it can be training this is what makes it all worth it, man. So thank you guys for the amazing love. Thank you again for everything. Oh, but real quick, I also wanted to wish a happy birthday to the homie. He's been down with the channel, y'all don't understand, in, in so many ways for so many years. Mr. Dimitrovsky, right? I'm probably butchering the name, but that's how I like to say your last name. Dimitrovsky, you gotta say it with that Trotsky. Anyway, yo, turn 50 years old. Hey, we, we, we getting up there in the FGC, ain't we? Anyway, he shared his birthday cake, check it out, saying this is how you have a B-Day cake made when you're 50. And you know, he had to have my main guy on there. Look at that, man, that to me, I don't even, like, I wouldn't even think that was cake. I mean, that shit looks so damn good, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, enjoy the 5-0, the big 5-0, man. Still down for the FGC, happy birthday. And there it is one more time, and just like Santex said, baby, I don't know what it is, but I know it's about to get better. Love y'all forever. Peace. Blah, 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 subscribe. Oh, you can. And now it's that moment of sweet FGC bliss. This one right here is from none other than Jay Wong, right? Justin Wong, definitely check him out. His information down below. Y'all know Jay Wong, the man needs no intro. Well, apparently he posted a video the other day. People are calling it the best thumbnail of 2024. The title he posted saying, new YouTube video, I, I fought against uh, John Choi in hyper fighting and picked Zangief. This is the thumbnail is basically, uh, let me get over here real quick. Is John pile driving Justin in, 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 a, in a very glory, a very HT, right? A very HT position. And uh, Justin seems to be having the time of his life. I kind of want to make this the, the, the thumbnail of the video, even though it has nothing to do with this video. <laughs> I kind of literally just want to put it as the thumbnail for this video just for people to be like, what, why, and thank you. You know what I'm saying? That's what you feel when you see this picture. What, why, and thank you. And you know what? You're welcome.